The annual exodus to cemeteries in the provinces have begun for many Filipinos. PTV's Denise Osorio is at the North Luzon Expressway or LX to give us an update live. Good evening. De Joe, as the night gets deeper, so does the gridlock here at the North Luzon Expressway get more unmanageable. We are situated right before the Balintawak Toll Plaza heading north, where most of our motorists exit Metro Manila when heading to the northern provinces. This queue of travelers stretches almost as far as the eye can see, or several kilometers into the horizon. But mind you, it is shorter now than how that was four hours ago. But after driving through the RFID countries, our motorists could travel at a crawl of between 5 to 10 kilometers per hour up to the NLEX Harbor Link interchange. More areas of the whole stretch of NLEX are also already packed, such as the stretch along Libtong Mekawayan and before the Bukawe Toll Plaza. Joey also noticed earlier that quite a number of motorists were getting their first RFID sensors installed. When asked why they were doing this, most of them said they were driving new wheels tonight. Ngayon lang kami nagpapakabit ng RFID because yeah, brand new car na our, but before meron pa na, meron naman yung lumang car. Ah, uh, bagong bili lang yung ano, yung unit namin. Kakabili lang. Motorists are expecting even more gridlock after getting through this stretch at the Balintawak Toll Plaza. Traffic. I'm expecting that. So maaga na lang kami talaga umalis just to make sure na makarating kami on time. So meron pa kaming allowance. Joe, it's beginning to drizzle here at my location and also at the NLEX Harbor Link Interchange. So expect most vehicles to drive slowly and, or crawl on the freeway. That's the latest here at NLEX. Back to you, Joe. Thank you, Denise Osorio from PTV.